Hey everyone, this is uh, the Gadget Guru. Um, this is going to be a new type of video I'm going to be trying. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to call it yet. It's kind of tech talk, but kind of not. Mo more or less, it's probably be considered a guide to being a better Yu-Gi-Oh player, I guess. Um, it, it basically, if you want to win more matches and get to higher places in tournaments, you should... Following these steps will really help you. Um, first one, is, well, probably the biggest one, is knowing how your cards work. Like, knowing how oppression works with stuff like Shura or Vayu in Blackwing decks. Um, I've seen so many people have oppression out, they'll attack with Shura, and they won't activate the effect. Because they're like, well, if I activate the effect, you'll negate it and you'll die. Which isn't true, because you can't activate Oppression in the damage step, and that's where he activates. So you can attack, special on a monster, and Oppression can't be activated because it's damage step. Um, and I've seen so many people lose because just because they don't do it. They, they think they can't. And this is because they don't know how their cards work together. So, um, And then, Vayu. Uh, Vayu and Oppression. I've seen so many people who don't understand how its effect work together. They think, oh, if I remove Vayu... And Shiraku from my graveyard. It's supposed to summon an armed wing. You're gonna oppression and kill it because they think they they think the oppression can be used on the synchro, which it can't. <sighs> so if you oppression anything, you're oppressing the effect of Vayu. So Vayu and Shiraku will stay in the grave because it's not a cost. So then they'll remove again. If you negate again, they just keep looping it. I mean, and a lot of good black and players know this, but a lot of the um. I guess you say medium tier players that they don't play avidly. I've seen a lot of them not know this, and I've told them this, and they're like, "Well, that can't be right." And I'm just like, "It is." They're like, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "Okay." Um, I am a. I, I do consider myself a Yu-Gi-Oh judge, by the way. Um, uh, obviously Konami has no levels, so can't really go on about levels or anything. Uh, the next thing is. Again, knowing what your cards do with other cards. I've seen so many people remove from play Vayu and Shiraku and grab a Synchro, or Vayu and another monster grab a Synchro, and then see people play Shalom Judgment, uh, Black Horn of Heaven, Horn of Heaven. It's like you can't do it. And why? Is because the Synchro monster being special from Vayu's effect cannot be solemned. It's like it's like trying to solemn a demise. When it's supposed to summon by ritual, you can't do it. You have to solemn the ritual card or nothing, or negate the effect. But solemn can't I, I, solemn can't kill effects, so there's really no point to it. Um, so yeah, just you gotta know how your cards work together, how they work with other cards. So the next time you remove value and another monster and try and get a synchro, and they try and solemn um, oppression anything like that, be like, hey, <laughs> he can't do that. And just, uh, if you know how your cards work with other cards, you, you can, you can get really good. Um, another example would be for stuff like Oppression, Trigodia, and Giant Rat. Again, these two cards activate in damage step. This cannot activate in damage step. So you can run Trigodia with Oppression, and it, Oppression cannot kill the Trigodia. And I, I've seen people argue this so much. They're like, well, I can Oppression as Gores. I can Oppression as Trigodia. No, you can't. It's in damage step. Oppression cannot activate in damage step. It cannot. It's in the Oppression's ruling. Oppression cannot activate in damage step. So Giant Rat, Mystic Tomato, Trigodia, Shura, um... Anything that special summons when it's destroyed as a result of battle ca cannot be killed by Oppression. It just can't. Um... Or anything that's special is when you take damage. Uh, Battle Fader, Trigodia, Gores, um... Because it's special on the damage step. So, th this is just stuff that people just don't even realize. They don't realize that this stuff, that's how it works. And so they think, oh, well, you know, I, can, I can't do that, I can't do that. And then after the game, people are like, hey, why don't you just play Trigodia? And they're like, well, I had oppression. It's like, uh, what's your point? You could have played it. And they think they can't, and then they go home, and they look up the rulings and go, oh, I could have played it. So, just 
uh, it's a good idea to before you go to a tournament with your deck, just go to, just go on go on um. Well, I guess you can't go on yugiocard.com because they don't have the old rulings like before. Um, I I can't remember what the name of the site is, but I'll post the name of the site with all the rulings and stuff on it so you can look them over. Just go to the site, look all your cards ruling over before you go and play it. So you know, oh, I can do that with that. I can do that with that. You know, it's just the same thing. It's the same thing as, um, let's say I had Solidarity, and you kill my giant rat, and I get another giant rat. It's now a 2200 when it comes into play. It's the same reason you can't bottomless giant rat, because bottomless can't be activated in the damage step. So, I mean, because I've seen that done too. People will go, okay, well, I'll special summon Trigodia or Gores or something. People will go, oh, I play bottomless. It's like, uh, you can't bottomless in damage step. It can't be done. Or tr or I've seen people try and... Um, I've seen people try and solemn Trigodia and Gores. It's like, what are you doing? They're like, I'm soloming your Trigodia. It's like, uh... <laughs> First of all, it's supposed to be you're supposed to summon by effects. So you can't solemn it anyway. Uh, which is why you can't solemn it, technically. Because it's being special summoned by the effect of Trigodia. A solemn can't stop effects. It only stops summon. But this is special summoned in the resolution of the effect, so... There's really no point. Um, so, and then the last big thing is with Lightsworns being one of the top decks and foreseeable top decks for the next couple, for the next format, because uh, I've heard a lot of people saying Lightsworns are not going anywhere, they're staying where they are. And I've heard a lot of people saying they're going to start, like, double or trip, tripling on Arcuses. So, I I'm just going to go over this card. You should know that this card cannot stop cards like Fissure. Smashing Ground, Creature Swap, Bottomless, Mirror Force. Um, I've seen a lot of people, these two cards in conjunction, Bottomless and Arcus. Someone has Arcus on the field, um, they and then they summon Lila, and the opposing player activates Bottomless, and they're like, well, you can't Arcus. But if you read Bottomless's text, it says... When your opponent normal summons, left summons, or special summons a monster or monsters, has a little S on it. That means it doesn't target. Because uh, trap hole, yeah, you can't trap hole because trap hole says when you when they summon a monster, it doesn't have an S on it. If it has an S on it, it's plural and you can't <clears throat> bottom. You can you still bottom with archers on the field. The same with smashing and fissure. Like I've seen so many people. Get, get this all mixed up, and they'll say stuff like, oh, well, you know, it says kill one monster, so it targets. And it's like, no, it doesn't. Targeting, let me explain targeting a little bit. Targeting is when you yourself are choosing the target for an effect. With Smashing and Fissure, we'll put these aside right now. <clears throat> With Smashing and Fissure, you're not. They say destroy the highest attack. They're choosing the target. They're non-targeting. They go for whatever, the highest defense, the lowest attack, whatever. They go for a certain type of monster and kill it. Shut up. Um, they go for a certain type of monster and kill it. Sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> um, they go for a certain type of monster and kill it. You're not choosing the target, so they're non-targeting. So if you have these and you go smashing and they're like, well, I have Arcus, you're like, yeah, thank you. Arcus gets off the, gets off the field. It's dead. It does, smashing and fissure don't target. Um, next is creature swap. Uh, I've seen a lot of confusion about this. People say, oh, creature swap targets, creature swap targets. It doesn't. The pl it says both players select one monster. So you're not targeting. They, If anything, they're targeting in a way. But no, it, this targets players. It doesn't target the monster. So you can still creature swap while Arcus is in play. Because I've done that before. People at Arcus and I summoned like Sandy and I went creature swap. They're like, you can't. And I call a judge over there and he's like, yeah, you can. So you can still creature swap. And then biggest thing of all is M Mirror Force and Torrential. I've heard so many people say you can't because it says when a monster attacked or when a monster is summoned. That's just the condition. It doesn't target the monster that, that happens with. It is a condition to activate the card. So... You can still mirror force and torrential arcus in play. So these have just been kind of little overview things that I wanted to do. Um, I'll probably make another video like this soon. So it'll probably be a little different. So this has been the Gadget Guru. Bye.